Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, guys, I wanted to make a video. You know what? I, 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 a couple of months ago, I met a boxing fan. He was a Ricky Hatton fan. And I kind of had an argument with this guy. Um, I had an argument with this guy. And he was saying, oh, Ricky Hatton was legend, this, that. And I kind of questioned him. I said, listen... Did you actually watch Ricky Hatton's career? Um, did you actually wa watch all his fights? Uh, because if you do, you do know that his resume wasn't that great, right? Um, Ricky Hatton had a massive fan following and he was a very popular fighter. Just like Amir Khan's a very unpopular fighter in this country, Ricky Hatton was a very popular fighter. And he had thousands of fans fly over to Vegas for him. And then I got onto the Mayweather Pacquiao. Uh, when he fought Mayweather and Pacquiao Did Mayweather and, pa and Pacquiao expose Ricky Hatton for what he was? Ricky Hatton was a very good fighter, very good chin um, A tough man, you know, a relentless fighter You know, his best win came against Costa Zou Who, listen, was past his best Costa Zou after Ricky Hatton fight didn't ever fight again He was past his best, but yeah, it was still a good win for Ricky Hatton and by no means I'm making this video to slander Ricky Hatton, but I do think he was a bit overrated, if I'm honest. That's just my opinion. Um, you know, it's just my personal opinion. That's not Ricky. He was a good fighter, very good fighter. Just think he was a little overrated just because he was so loved by the British public. Let's go on to the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight. And, and I'm going to make some points. Mayweather and Pacquiao, right? Floyd Mayweather... Right, knocked out Ricky Hatton, of course. Manny Pacquiao knocked out Ricky Hatton, of course. What I want you to do is look at Floyd Mayweather's career. Floyd Mayweather, early on in his career, was pretty boy Floyd, where he was battering guys, beating guys up, knocking them out. Towards the back end of his career, he became Floyd Money Mayweather, more defensive, a defensive wizard, a guy that was difficult to hit, and he would win fights on points. When Ricky Hatton fought him, Ricky Hatton fought for, for for the defensive Floyd, right? Floyd Mayweather knocked him out, right? Floyd Mayweather knocked Ricky Hatton out. Who did Floyd Mayweather knock out in around that time? Check it. Two names come to mind. Victor Ortiz, which was a sucker punch, which obviously Ortiz didn't know the punch was coming. He thought the referee had stopped it. And Conor McGregor, if you want to count that. Those are the two guys he knocked out after that. Right? Floyd Mayweather wasn't known towards the back end of his career knocking people out. And he knocked Ricky Hatton out because Ricky Hatton was limited. And and this is by no means hate, hating on him because Ricky Hatton had one one-dimensional style. And he came forward. And, and Floyd Mayweather sussed him out and he started landing a lot of shots start, and wore him down and knocked him out. Then we come on to the Pacquiao fight. A lot of people at that time thought Ricky Hatton had a shot of winning that fight. A lot of people thought Ricky Hatton had a shot of winning that fight. Manny Pacquiao dismantled Ricky Hatton, dropped him three times in the first round and then knocked him out cold in the second. Again, I'll come back to it. Who did Manny Pacquiao knock out the way he knocked out Ricky Hatton? Cold like that. A little man, remember. Yes, it was Manny Pacquiao. He's a living legend uh, and he's a great fighter. But who did Manny Pacquiao knock out like that? Go back and watch, again, go back and watch his fights. Jesse Vargas, Timothy Bradley, Jeff Horn. Go back and watch even his fights around that period. Joshua Clotty, uh, Miguel Cotto, Oscar De La Hoya. He beat those guys up. Margarito, he beat those guys up, but he didn't knock them out cold like that. Again, this is what I'm trying to say, that Ricky Atten, a very good fighter, but I do think he was a little overrated. And a lot of his wins, did he even beat Luis Colazzo? Again, that was a very tight fight, right? And look what Khan did to Colazzo. Yes, people are going to say Colazzo was past, whatever, they're going to talk nonsense. Khan would have done that to Colazzo that Ricky Atten fought because Khan was stylistically just all wrong for Colazzo. It had nothing to do with what stage of career Colazzo was at. Colazzo, Khan would have done that to Colazzo anyway because styles make fights, right? And now I'm going to go on to talk about. Khan, for example, when Khan fought Canelo, right? Khan was doing well against Canelo and he got knocked out cold the way Ricky Hatton got knocked out against Pacquiao, right? But Khan was fighting a guy that was 30 pounds heavier. That was way bigger, right? 
And people were expecting him to get knocked out. Okay, maybe not like that, but people were expecting him to get knocked out. Yet Khan was doing well in the fight. Ricky Hatton fought a smaller man in Pacquiao who people thought he had a chance of winning. And Pacquiao destroyed him in first round, dropped him three times and knocked him out cold. But yet yeah, Ricky Hatton is this some great in some people's eyes. Again, I do think Ricky Hatton was a good fighter. Again, I'll say it again, he was a good fighter, but I do think he was a little overrated by a, by a lot of people. Um, and I think because of his fan following and how much he was loved in this country, I do think people overrate Ricky Hatton's career and resume. Uh, nevertheless, he was a very good fighter. There's no doubt about it. Anyone that gets to world level and got achieved what Ricky Hatton achieved is a world-class fighter. And he was a world-class fighter. But I do think, I do think he's a little overrated. Because of, I don't think his resume was that great, personally. You know, I think someone like Khan's resume was far superior than, than Hatton's, right? And another thing, Ricky Hatton came back and fought Senchenko. And Ricky Hatton was past his best, no doubt about it. Senchenko knocked him out, right? But Rick, nobody even talks about that Senchenko loss. People give him a pass because rightfully so, Ricky Hatton was past his best. Amir Khan fought Terence Crawford, who was... The, seen as many people as the best fighter in the world. Senchenko was never seen as the best fighter in the world. Okay, in many people's eyes, Amir Khan quit, right? But Amir Khan fought the best fighter in the world and lost, but yet never got a pass on that. But yet Ricky Han got a pass for fighting Senchenko, getting knocked out to Senchenko. And Senchenko was nowhere near the best fighter in the world. He wasn't even anywhere close. I don't even know if he was world, he wasn't even world champion at that point, right? But Ricky Hatton got a pass and Khan didn't get a pass for losing when he was past his best to the best, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Why the double standard? You know, I just, again, I just think Ricky Hatton for me was a, li a little overrated, but that's just my personal opinion. You don't have to agree with me. Uh, you can leave your comments in the comment section. I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear your point, uh, point, point of views and uh, I'll get back to you. Leave your thoughts, guys. Remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. I want to thank you all for me reaching 7,000 subs. I appreciate your support. Guys, as you can probably see from my channel art, I have recently started Patreon and Blogger. Um, if you were to click on this uh, icon here, it will take you to my Patreon page. And I just want to take you through my Patreon page. So I've, at the minute, I've got two options. Hopefully, I will increase this if my Patreon grows. But at the minute, I've got uh, one option, which is... One dollar a month fan donation, which will obviously help me produce better quality content on YouTube and faster for you guys. And I've got another option of three dollars a month for two live streams a week discussing boxing with myself. You guys will get to speak to me face to face. Um, and I'll take you to my boxing blog. So if you were to click on the, this B sign here, it will take you to my boxing blogs, which is which is this page here. And all you have to do is click on here. And that will take you to my boxing blogs where you can see all my different articles that I've wrote. So as you can see, I've wrote six articles about different topics. So if you want to click on one of my articles, all you got to do is click on this. And it will take you straight to the article and you can read it. And you can then go back and read the others if you, if you would like. But yeah, guys, I thought I'd just highlight this to you. Um, so make sure to read my articles. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my Patreon if you're interested. And guys, I thank you for your, your support. I thank you for me reaching 7,000 subs. Guys, I'm out.